हेलो एवरीवन व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ वेरिएबिलिटी व्हाट आर द फैक्टर्स ऑफ वेरिएबिलिटी हाउ इंपॉर्टेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट द कंसेप्ट ऑफ वेरिएबिलिटी बाय द पीपल हु आर वर्किंग इन द प्रोडक्शन लाइन असेंबली लाइन एंड इन क्वालिटी व्हाट आर द इंपॉर्टेंट मेजर्स ऑफ वेरिएबिलिटी दैट हेल्प्स टू अंडरस्टैंड द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ द वेरिएबिलिटी इन द प्रोसेस how would you calculate the different measures of variability such as a range and standard deviation i am narendra sharma and through this video i will elaborate all these questions one by one so that you can understand all about the variability of the process so here we start starting with the variability to understand the variability look at this slide there are two data sets the first data set has these data values and the second data set has these data values in the first data set you will you can see that the data values are widely spread and in the second data set you can see that the data values are clustered together but if you calculate the mean median mod for these two data sets you will find that the value of mean median mod is same for the two data sets that mean that means it is 6 for set 1 and it is also 6 for set 2 then what is the difference between the data values of set 1 and set 2 the difference is the variability therefore the variability describes how data are spread out and fluctuate on each side of the central value factors of variability there are two factors of variability one is the spread of the data how the data spread out around the mean value or the central value and how the data fluctuate around the mean value the spread can be understand from the the spread can be understand the distance from the minimum value of the data values and the maximum value of the data values and the fluctuation of the data can be understand as the deviation of each individual data value from its mean value how important to understand about the variability the entire concept of sqc and spc depends upon the variability variability is the major concern for quality related issues higher the variability implies poor quality of product or service low variability implies better the quality of product or service Shevard and Deming, Dr. Deming wanted to bring the statistical concept of variability down to the shop floor so that everyone who is working in the production line or assembly line can understand the concept of variability and can able to reduce the variability of the process. Even the concept of Six Sigma is based on the variability. Therefore, in the Six Sigma project, the major concern is the reduction of the variability. the central idea of using the control chart is to control the variability of the process if the supervisors and production line workers could understand the existence of variability in the production process this implies that the people who are working in the production line or assembly line or in quality if they can understand the existence of variability in the process then this awareness they can use to reduce the variability of the process by this uh, learning about the Uh, awareness or uh, learning about the variability they can also put their effort to reduce the variability of the process this way to understand the concept of variability by the people who are working in the production line or assembly line or in quality it is very important for the people those who are working in uh, such kind of uh, area or the department measures of variability what are the measures what are the important measures of variability there are two important measures of variability and these are the first one is the range the range is the difference between the largest and smallest values of observations and it is denoted by r so r is the symbol for range and it is the difference of the maximum and minimum value of the data series in quality control range is a very common measure of variability uh, it is uh, used for uh, a very principal control chart 
as you know about that the range chart use the concept of range it provides the knowledge of total spread of the data it also valuable when the amount of data is too small or too scattered so you have to understand the range of the data when it is the data values are very small or the data values are very scattered or scattered too scattered it uh, helps to uh, maintain the precision of the data the precision of the data can be understand the closeness of the individual values therefore if the range is low then the individual values are close to each other therefore it helps to understand the precision of the data standard deviation the second important measure of variability is the standard deviation standard deviation is a numerical value in the units of observed values whatever the units used for, to measure measure the measure any any dimension like uh, millimeter or milligram uh, the standard deviation also measured in the same unit it measures the fluctuation of the data around the mean value the deviation of each individual value from the mean value can be calculated with the help of standard deviation higher the value of standard deviation greater the variability of the data smaller the value of standard deviation better the quality because the distribution is more closely compacted and around uh, compacted around the central value and it is denoted by the small greek letter sigma it is something like the nose of an old man this is something like that so this is a symbol for the standard deviation the formula for calculation of standard deviation there are two types of formula for standard deviation one is the for sample standard deviation and the second is population standard deviation for sample standard deviation the formula is square root of summation of this sigma is for summation summation of the squared deviation of each individual value from the mean value and this divided by the n minus 1 where n is the total number of observations but in case of population standard deviation here n minus 1 replaced by n the rest of the things in the formula are same uh, the notations are sigma s is sample standard deviation sigma p is population standard deviation xi is any data value x bar is average of data values and and the number of data values now here in this slide you can understand the relationship between the mean and standard deviation and this is known as empirical rule under the normal distribution when the data is symmetric or normal the mean and standard deviation uh, related with each other uh, as you uh, as you can see here around the mean between mon, mon, between minus 1 sigma to plus 1 sigma total number of observations lying in these two limits are 68.26 percent around the mean between minus 2 sigma to plus 2 sigma the total number of number of observations in between these two limits are 95.45 percent and around the mean between minus 3 sigma to plus 3 sigma there are approximately 99.73 percent or you can say that approximately 100% observations lying between these two limits minus 3 sigma to plus 3 sigma and therefore in control charts we use these two limits as upper control limit plus 3 sigma and lower control limit minus 3 sigma because total uh, number of observations lying between these two limits are 99.73% so this is the relationship of mean and standard deviation and it is known as empirical rule now if you want to calculate the range and standard deviation then here is an example here is some data series given uh, and you need to calculate the range and standard deviation for this data series how would you calculate here uh, you can go like this first arrange the data values in this first column of this table and uh, the total number of observations are 16 n is equal to 16 range is the maximum minus minimum the minimum value is 1.2 and the maximum value is 4 therefore the range is 2.8 total number of observations are 16 sum of the all observations is sigma x is 48 this sigma is 
the capital Greek letter and this is uh, used for uh, summation therefore the sigma x is 48 therefore the mean value is 48 divided by 16 is 3 the mean is 3 now in the second column you need to uh, find the deviation of each individual data value from the mean value and the the first uh, data value the deviation of first data value from the mean value is minus 1.8 the second uh, is uh, minus 0 0.8 and so on in the second column <clears throat> the deviation of each individual data value from the mean value can be calculated in the third column you need to square this deviation of each individual data value from the mean value and this is minus 1.8 square of minus 1.8 is 3.24 why uh, we are uh, doing this because to make the positive value for each deviation this is 3.24 and uh, minus 0 0.8 and this is 0 0.64 the square of minus 0 0.8 this is also 0 0.64 and so on square of each deviation uh, of each individual data value now uh, here you need to calculate in third column the summation of each squared deviations uh, all squared deviation and it is 8.12 now put the values in the formula the here uh, uh, you need to calculate the population standard deviation and the uh, formula for population standard deviation is square root of summation of squared deviations of each individual data value and uh, this uh, should be divided by the number of uh, observations and it is n therefore uh, the summation is 8.12 and uh, the total number of observations uh, is 16 therefore this uh, under the square root the value comes as uh, 0 0.5075 and the answer will be 0 0.71 and this value is less than 1 so it is good if the standard deviation is less than 1 this way you can calculate the range of the any data series and the standard deviation of any data series now variance variance is the square of standard deviation and it can be calculated as uh, the symbol is s variance is equal to square of standard deviation sigma is for standard deviation square of standard deviation so this is the variance now the relative measures of variability is the coefficient of variation and the coefficient of variation uh, as, as I said that it is the relative measure of variability it is widely uh, used in comparing two or more data series if you want to compare two data series then you have to calculate the coefficient of variation of each individual data series and the greater value of the CV the greater the value of any data series coefficient of variation for coefficient of variation the greater the variability of the data series and if the variability is high then the reliability of the data series is low and the formula for calculation of cv is sigma that is standard deviation divided by the mean value standard deviation divided by the mean value and this multiplied by 100 so this will come in the percentage value so this way you can calculate the coefficient of variation take a quick recap the variability describes the spread and fluctuation of the data around the mean value. The entire concept of SPC and SQC depends upon the variability. Even the concept of Six Sigma also depends upon the variability. Measures of variability are range and standard deviation. These are the two important measures of variability. Range is the difference of maximum and minimum values of the data series. Standard deviation is the deviation of each data value from the mean value of the data series. Variance is the square of standard deviation and uh, the relative measure of variability is coefficient of variation and it is uh, the, the, the ratio of uh, standard deviation and the mean value multiplied by the 100. This is you can say that the coefficient of variation is the ratio of standard deviation to the mean of the data series. So <clears throat> this is all about this uh, video about uh, of the variability and the measures of variability how you can calculate the range how you can calculate the standard deviation write your questions related with this video in comment box like this video share this video and don't forget to subscribe shake hand with life youtube channel thanks for watching have a nice day